nowadays we have this uh, photo frames and all but before it was not like that the photo was actually stuck to the cardboard and it was hung to the wall for this poetess her mother's laughter has become a memory this enjambment is usually seen in the poems that are written in free verse only hello everyone a very warm welcome to all the young minds of class 11 cbse i am dr shalini here your english teacher at prep school today we are here to understand one of the wonderful poems written by a wonderful poet so today we'll be understanding a photograph that is there in your syllabus so let us see what is there in today's module so today we will be understanding in our session about the poetess and the background of the poem and also the summary of the poem so we are starting our session with the poem that is a photograph so we'll understand what is about the poetess first so this poem is written by the poetess shirley tolson she was a very famous poetess she was an english writer a journalist and also a politician in america of all her works the famous ones are the drawers and also the celtic years of celebration so these two are the famous but there are many poems which are not famous but they are wonderful to read so let us start with one of her poems that is the photograph so to start with the background of the poem this poem she writes about her mother's photo fine this uh, photo was taken uh, much before she was born that is the poetess was born poetess is a kind of missing her mother looking at this photograph so what is there in this photograph she has written it in this poem so let us see what is there so let us begin with the first stanza the summary of the first stanza so the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some 12 years or so all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terribly transient feet so this is the first stanza let us analyze this uh, stanza here so she talks about the cardboard the cardboard shows me how it was so she is talking about the cardboard that is nowadays we have this uh, photo frames and all but before it was not like that the photo was actually stuck to the cardboard and it was hung to the wall so here the same thing happens the cardboard means the photo frame which we use nowadays so she is talking about that cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling so what are they doing they went for paddling they have gone to a beach uh, this beach was actually the mother's one of the favorite destinations so there they have gone so mother is there and other two cousins are also there that means this has this photo has been taken when her mother was young fine so each one holding one of my mother's hands so mother is standing in the middle and the cousins are standing on the either side of the mother so they are holding the mother's hands and she the big girl so one of the cousins who is little elder some 12 years or so so she is talking about the 12 year old girl all three stood still to smile through their hair through their hair means the hair is left open it is a beach the hair is left open and it is actually covering their face and through their face they are smiling and they stood still why are they standing still in the beach they are posing at a camera that is being uh, taken by the uncle fine maybe one of the cousin's father that is the uncle is shooting a photo he is actually taking a pic using the camera a sweet face so she is talking about the mother's face a sweet face my mother's so she is calling her mother's face as very sweet face that was before i was born so now you can see that her mother was young and this photo was taken much before the poetess was born that means this was taken when the mother was much smaller compared to the poetess here 
and the sea. So now you can see they have gone to a beach. Fine. And the sea which appears to have changed less. The sea has changed less. Okay, the sea has changed less. So you can just imagine compared to humans, the natural factors, okay, so they change less. The beach might have changed less, means the water might have increased or decreased. The other physical features, maybe the shops and all, they might have increased. But the sea, when you say the water changed very less, but what has changed more, washed their terribly transient feet. Transient means that has continuous changes okay so their feet actually has changed a lot means they have grown up a lot but the sea has not grown it is still the same and that was washing their terribly transient feet means they are standing at the beach they are standing at the shore there and the water is coming and washing their feet that is the small small tiny uh, feet that was growing now so this is the first stage in this stanza so this poem is actually written in three stanzas that is the three stages of the poet's life is being expressed over here okay in the first stage it is the childhood of her mother childhood in the sense the um, age wherein the mother was actually a girl still a girl okay so this is the first stage that she expresses here you can also notice that there are no rhyming words at all in this poem okay so it is written in free verse it is it has no rhyme scheme that's why it is written in free verse fine that is one thing and you can also see here the sentence ends over here the other sentence begins over here fine so this way of writing a poem is called as enjambment okay this is actually a literary device and this literary device is called as enjambment this enjambment is usually seen in the poems that are written in free verse only Fine. In those poems which do not have rhyme scheme, this enjambment is most common. Fine. So, this is one of the literary devices that is used over here. Fine. Now, they have repeated also, repeated the words but not in the consecutive lines. So, anaphora doesn't hold good over here. So, wherever there is repetition but in the consecutive lines, then only it is anaphora but this doesn't come under anaphora. So, you need not have to name it as anaphora, fine. So, other than this, the consonants and assonance, that literary device will always be there because repetition of consonant sounds will happen which is consonants and repetition of vowel sounds also will happen which is called as assonance. So, assonance and consonants are the commonly used literary devices in almost all the poems. So, whenever they ask you to write the literary devices, you can write enjambment that is written in free verse. Then you can also cite consonants and assonance also. Fine. Now, we'll move on to the next stanza now. So, what does she say in the next stanza that is stanza 2? Some 20-30 years later, she'd laugh at the snapshot See Betty and Dolly, she would say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. The sea holiday was her past, mine is her laughter, both rye with the labored ease of loss. So here you can see this stanza talks about some 20 to 30 years later. Fine. So that was maybe 12 years. That time it, uh, it was 12 years. Now it is 20 to 30 years later. After 20, 30 years, the mother, she is talking about the mother. She is the mother over here. So mother would laugh at the snapshot. She would look at the photo of hers and she would laugh at it. Why would she laugh at it? Because she would see the other two cousins. So one is Betty. One of the cousins is Betty. The other one is Dolly. Okay, see Betty and Dolly, she would say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. So now she is looking at the dresses and she is telling, look how they have dressed us for the beach. So this is beach she is talking about. So now the sea holiday was her past. Now 20 to 30 years later, she is seeing that at that time, beach holiday was her mother's past. Fine. So, mother's pastime, she is watching and she is laughing at it. But what is past for this poetess? It is her laughter. Means her mother's laughter is past for her. That means her mother is no more. She is talking about a person who is no more. For the mother, the beach time is past. That the favorite destination what she visited, that has become a memory. But for this poetess, her mother's laughter has become a memory. 
both right with the labored ease of loss. So both these uh, things that is the beach and the mother's laughter both are lost now. Now they are not there. So both of them they are lost and they cannot be got back now. So that situation they have reached. So the poetess is comparing that thing here. Both the situations gave happiness to two people but now the poetess is very unhappy now because she can bring her mother no more now okay so this was there in stanza two here also you can notice that the sentence ends somewhere in between and there is no rhyming word here also fine this continues in this free verse only then we move on to stanza number three now she has been dead so now she is telling that her mother is dead now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and that of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. It's silence, silences. So now here you can see the mother is dead. That is what she is expressing. Now you can uh, understand that nearly as many years as that girl lived. So now it is almost 12 years. Now this girl is 12 year old. Fine. So it is 12 years that her mother has expired. Now, as soon as she was born, this poetess was born, she has expired, the mother expired. So it was 12 years and this girl is looking at the uh, smile of her mother. Fine. So it is the 12 years that the girl had lived and the, it is 12 years that the mother has passed away. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. Now, in this circumstance, this uh, poetess is actually very quiet. Now, she has nothing to say. Yes, this poem was written much later than that, but she imagines that and she is writing uh, with the view of that 12 year old girl. Fine. So, here now she has nothing to say. So, what has happened? The girl, little girl, is actually silenced now. So, what is left now? It's silence silences so nothing is left now there is nothing to say everything is silent here now so what is left is only the silence fine so this is stanza number three so in the first stanza that is the stage one that is a stanza one you can see the mother's uh, maybe the uh, small age okay mother's uh, early ages uh, she has written Okay, then comes that is she expresses about the, the beach which she visited. Fine. So she talks about that over there in stanza one. In stanza two, she talks about her mother's uh, maybe uh, uh, 30 years uh, later. Okay, so 30 years later that mother uh, looks at the photo and he and she laughs at that, that she writes about it. And the third one she writes about when she is young. Okay, so she's she's talking about the poetess who is very young. Fine. So she talks about herself who is very young. And now this third stage is after the death of her mother. Okay, after the death. So these are the three stages in which she expresses the poem. So all these three are expressed in three different stanzas. So first stanza it is little lengthier compared to that the second stanza is little smaller. The third one there is nothing to say. So you can see that here she has lot of things to express here little lesser. Now she is left with nothing. There is nothing to say at all because everywhere it is the silence. She is a kind of missing her mother. So just imagine you miss your loved ones like that. Look at the photographs and you remember them and you are left with silence isn't it suppose that person is no more then you tend to cry a lot isn't it maybe tears or not but silence is what will be left after their death so this was all about a photograph which is a very short poem for you to understand so the most common kind of questions is that uh, for you to explain about the three different stages what the poetess has spoken about Fine. So, uh, then they might ask you little about the literary devices also. So, most common question is the three different stages that the poetess has tried to explain here. So, this is a very easy poem to start with. You shall be enjoying once you read the poem. So, please come prepared for the class. Just go through the poem, come prepared for the class. So, just uh, go through the video also. You will be understanding it very easily. So, that's the end of photograph poem. So, let us meet again with another interesting uh, story in the next session. So take care, keep learning. Let us meet very shortly with another interesting session. Take care children. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. See you soon.